What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Peaky Blinders. Season 5 episode 4 is here today. And I have to say man, I'm enjoying this season so far. You know what I'm saying? Now we got new players on deck. We got new players in the room. The devil. <laughs> He's a problem. Um, looks like he's going to be in control for a little while. I don't know if he's going to, he's not the main villain of this season, obviously. And he looks like he ties in with the Billy Boys too. So we'll, we'll see. I haven't seen episode five yet. So I don't know what's going to take place or how they're going to wrap up this season. Cause it seems like we didn't really realize him as a threat until like episode, the last episode that we watched. Um, but in the second episode, we got a glimpse of it, but in, in, in episode three, kind of solidified him as the dude, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, Tommy is p planning to get into the organization and spy on him. So we'll see what happened because he's, he's planning to start a fascist political party. So, you know, but yeah, man, Abarama gets his revenge and the Billy Boys are on notice. Um, so I think the war is on. The war will be on now because, you know, guy said, Tommy Shelby, if it's war you want, war you shall have. <laughs> anyways, anyways, man, let's jump into this and see what's happening in this episode. I said, man, I'm going to try to keep my intros to... A minimum unless there's something else i want to talk about of course i thank you guys for tuning in as always don't forget to like hope you guys are enjoying the series so far on the channel i know a lot of people say man you deserve so much more views but it's okay man as long as you guys that are here are enjoying it i'm good with that one day i'm gonna go over my analytics with you guys and show you guys that there's a lot of my views coming from places that i don't expect so all in all, we're good. My click-through rate is is kind of good. You know, everybody want to get a 10% click-through rate. But I think I'm doing pretty well for the size of my channel. So let's jump into this. The channel is growing. I think we're back to doing somewhere close to around 100 subscribers a week. So I'm not, not too worried about it. I know I'm dancing. But let's get to it, man. Let's go see what this next episode is all about let's go get it don't forget to like i'll see you guys for the review let's get it bruh let me let me take off my headphones bruh They're killing it, man. They're killing it with this show, bro. They're killing it. Knocking it out of the park, bro. Over the fence. They are knocking it out of the... F Bruh. When I, tell, when I say to you guys that Game of Thrones could, could have learned a lot from, from this show... I'm not even kidding about it. I've said this multiple times before. I'm not saying that the earlier seasons of Game of Thrones weren't good, but they could have learned a lot from how this um, show is being written and shot. I mean, everything about it is is just top notch, man. The cine the cinematography in this episode alone was just off the chain and that's why I said the immersiveness of how they use everything about this the acting the 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 cinematography the music everything that pulls you into that world I actually feel like I'm in the 1930s when I'm watching this damn show it's crazy it's so good I love the fact that Tommy is putting this dude in his place man he putting it in his it's like dude you might think you running me, but I'm still in charge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how people pretend to be a certain thing, like, no matter what you're trying to pretend to be, Tommy has seen, seen it all. We've been following this guy's journey from season one. Other than the fact that, you know, his hallucinations that he's having because 
of you know whatever pills he's taking or whatever that's causing this trauma traumatized and all this other stuff that's going on in his life he's still the the tommy shelby that we know and love so it's so he's just oh my god and i would i would say lizzie had the best line in this episode best line hands down when he put dude in his place the devil <laughs> you know what i'm saying or he wants to be the devil you know what i'm saying but the ending scene was so brilliant that like i was like i do not like how linda is standing man i really don't like how she was standing and i was like nah she she come to kill arthur man and i was like yo i saw it coming because i was like i don't like how she's standing she could have a gun oh man that episode was so good it was so good and then Polly had to come out. And we thought Polly was preoccupied. I guess she saw she saw them because she was outside um, with Abarame. But, oh, my gosh, she came out just in time to save her. I was like, oh, is this it for for Arthur? Or well, I was thinking that Tommy was going to, because Tommy was on his way out. I thought Tommy was going to, you know, pull out and save Arthur just in time. Because you guys already know that I'm not a Linda fan. I'm just not a Linda fan. I think she was annoying the whole time she was on the show. So I'm not sorry. I'm not crying because Linda is dead. I feel like um, I'm not saying that Arthur had a right to, to mess that dude up. But one of the things that you guys need to understand, like for me, I would never want my woman to go and console herself with another man like. I don't care if you're just talking. No, I'd rather you do that with a with a with a woman. I would feel more secure, and I would say I would say not jealous if you're finding you know solitude or you know somebody you could talk to that listens or whatever. Even though I know that I'm a person that listens, I'm just talking like if I was if in Arthur's shoes, I wouldn't go mess that guy up. But I would, but I do understand why he messed the guy up. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because I think that if she was seeking solitude with like Polly or something like that, he wouldn't have a problem with it. Um, because I think Arthur understands who he is. He understands that he's not that guy. He's just, he's not that guy. He's not a guy that's going to sit down and listen to, you know, your problems. <laughs> You know, the only person he really looks up to is Tommy. You know what I'm saying? And he disagrees with Tommy a lot of times, too. But at the same time, you know, it's the only person that can tell him to do something and he would do it, no questions asked. He's, you know what I'm saying? Because as I said, man, he's the guard dog of the family. So I'm not, you know, counting him down. But I wasn't the biggest fan of Linda. You guys know that. So if she's dead, it's not necessarily good riddance, but... I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay with it. So this episode was pretty cool, man. Um, as I said, man, everything around about this episode was shot perfectly. Mosley, you know, got put in this place a, a bunch of times in this episode. So I love it. Um, the whole thing about running. I still don't. I don't trust Gina. I don't trust her. I don't trust Gina. I think Gina is going to do something stupid. And before the end of this season, I think she's going to do something real stupid. She didn't really agree to what Michael was telling her about. So if Michael is, if she, he wants to come back into the fold and make some, and you know, this is how he comes back in. I'm all for it. He's one of my favorite characters on the show. Um, I don't think he was trying to, to sell them out, but I still, there's still a little bit of distrust there when it comes on to Michael. You know, I did. I, I think I don't know, man. I think Tommy is the only one that don't let his woman get into his head. Like he's the only one. Arthur, for a minute, started listening to Linda and then he went off. You know, he went off course again. Michael, the same way. Yeah. John letting Esme. Basically, he lost his life because of that woman. Um you know, um, there's so many, I think Tommy was the only one that was, that's like, yo, 
I'm the dude. <laughs> you need to listen to what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? And there is, and I like the relationship that's developing be between him and Liz him and Lizzie, because if you guys remember from way back in like season one, how they met, they met because she was about to marry John, and basically Tommy told told him is like, listen, man, she's a whore. I bet if I offered her money, she would, you know. You, you know, she would get down, you know what I'm saying? So to see her come from that to where she is now, where, you know, Tommy kind of took her out of the life and, you know, made her somebody and she's changed. She, she's not sleeping around anymore. She's not sleeping with men for money, but I'm glad that she put Mosley in this place and let him know, listen, I'm a, I'm a queen now. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that she did that because now he realizes what he's dealing with. He's you're dealing with, you're basically dealing with underground royalty here. So don't we don't play games over here. You know what I'm saying? We the Peaky Blinders. So you need to understand that we the Peaky Blinders over here. So and she's a she's a Shelby now. So you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that she's you know understanding that that she's a Shelby, and this was the wrong. She understands that. I mean, she tried. You know what I'm saying? She went out, tried to get a divorce, decided against it. So, it's all good, man. This was such a good episode. I, You know, I feel like I could talk about this for, for the next another 10 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes for this review. But I'm going to have to end it here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, man. Um, This episode was good. Tell me what you thought of this episode, please. When you first watch it, put it in the comment section if you came back and check out the review. Um, thank you guys for going over and checking out the reaction and also to come back over here. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I thank you guys. It's all been good. Everything is good, man. We're all just, I, I have still have to watch episode five. I might just put out episode five tomorrow. So look out for that. Also, man, and we'll be all caught up. And I think season the season finale is going to be i think on sundays i don't know when it airs to be honest but as soon as it airs i'll be on it thank you guys so much for watching remember to like remember to comment subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts peace